Hi, my name is Robert Veranek. I'm from Fedevel Academy. And in this video, we are going to speak about uh, a feature which was introduced in Altium Designer 19. And uh, this feature can be useful sometimes. You know, I, I don't really speak about all the new features, but uh, this one is, uh, this one, I think it can be uh, interesting. It can be useful. And uh, it's not easy to figure out how exactly it works. So, uh, you know, I decided to spend some time to create this uh, demo project. So you don't have to experiment with this feature. You will understand immediately how it works. Basically, this new feature called layer types will help you to tell Altium how specific layers are going to be used. How this can help you. This can be very useful, especially if you need to use libraries which uh, are designed by different people or different companies, or if you need to use, I don't know, libraries which you download from a component supplier. And um, this can be useful if this libraries which you need to use, they uh, don't follow same standard as you use in your company, in your libraries. Okay, so very simply, if in your library uh, you use uh, assembly drawing on mechanical layer 15, and if you download libraries and they use assembly drawing on mechanical layer 29, without this feature, uh, you need to somehow convert these imported libraries to your specific standard. But with this new feature, you can tell Altium that this library is using layer 29 as assembly drawing layer. You can say that your library is using uh, mechanical layer 15 as assembly drawing layer. And uh, when you create your PCB, you can say, map all the assembly drawing layers to, I don't know, uh, la mechanical layer 10, okay? And uh, when you use these libraries, when you use the footprints from these libraries, they will be all correctly mapped into your PCB, okay? In your PCB, you will see on mechanical layer 10 all the assembly drawings, even if the assembly drawing layers are different mechanical layers in the libraries. So this can really help you uh, to save some time. And uh, I created this example because as I said, it's not very simple to figure out how it, uh, everything works. Even I had to spend some time trying to play with these settings. So I would like to show you how exactly you can use it in your project. Have a look at uh, this, uh, have a closer look at this example. Here we can see a PCB. This PCB uh, is using components or footprint from three different PCB libraries. Here are three different PCB libraries. These components which are here, they are using footprints from PCB lib, from this one. These components which are here, they are using uh, footprints from PCB lib assembly drawing on mechanical layer 15. It is this one which is here. And these two components which are here, they are using footprints from library uh, PCB lib assembly drawing on mechanical layer 29. It is this library which is here. Okay, if we have a uh, look inside of the libraries, so this one has two components. One component has assembly drawing on mechanical layer 15. The other component or the other footprint has the assembly drawing on mechanical layer 29. This is the second library. It only has one footprint with assembly drawing layer on mechanical layer 15. And in the third library, the footprint has assembly drawing on mechanical layer 29. If you have a look on the PCB, you will immediately notice that even these two libraries, they have assembly drawing layer on completely different layers. This one has assembly drawing layer on mechanical layer 15. This one has assembly drawing layer on mechanical layer 29. Even the assembly drawing layer is on different layers. Here in the PCB, 
the footprints are color correctly mapped to top assembly and bottom assembly layers. Okay? The footprints from this library, they are not uh, correctly mapped. But the footprints from this library, they are correctly mapped. Now, let's try it. We are going to have a look how this uh, feature works. In uh, this first example, uh, we are not going to set layer types and have a look what will happen. I have removed uh, all the components from our PCB and also I adjusted these uh, libraries a little bit. Uh, basically, I removed, the, I removed support for this new feature and what you can see here, this is the situation what uh, we would have uh, without this new feature. Okay, we are going to have a look into the libraries and then we will try to import the components. Uh, let's see what uh, will happen if we don't have this new feature. Inside of the libraries, uh, you can see, again, there are two footprints. You can very nicely see in PCB lib, this footprint is using mechanical layer 15 for assembly drawing layer. This one is using mechanical layer 29 for assembly drawing layer. In this library, there is one footprint using mechanical 15 uh, layer for assembly drawing. And in this library, there is only one footprint using mechanical layer 29 uh, for assembly drawing layer. If we go into schematic, uh, we can try to import all the components into our PCB. And uh, let's have a look what uh, happened. I'm going to place the components uh, on the PCB so you can see uh, clearly which components are from what library. This one is uh, from this library. This one here. Three. Four. Now five on bottom layer. This here. Six bottom layer. Seven, eight. This is not good. Why this is not good? Do you know? Because if we would like to create one single assembly drawing layer, uh, there is no way how we could do it because the current assembly drawing layers, they are basically split between two different layers. Some components, they have assembly drawing layer on mechanical layer 15 and some components, they have assembly drawing on mechanical layer 29. So there is no easy way how to match these layers together and use them for one single assembly drawing layer. And that's exactly the situation when this new feature can be very useful. So let's have a look how we could apply this uh, new layer type feature on our project and on our libraries. And let's have a look what will happen. I have deleted all the components from our PCB. And uh, before we import the components, uh, I'm going to specify where we would like to have the assembly drawing layer. So right click, add component layer. Let's say we would like to have it on uh, layer 10 and 11. And we would like to use this layer type assembly. So this is what is new, okay? This is what uh, will make the miracles. Left click here, okay? Notice here we have new uh, component layer pair assembly. At this moment, there is nothing. And we also need to go into libraries. In the first library, we are not going to do any changes. But in this one, uh, in this library, we would like to use mechanical layer 15 and 16 for 
assembly drawing layer. So go into view configuration, right click, add component layer pair, and inside of this PCB lip assembly on uh, mechanical layer 15, we are going to specify that uh, on layer 15 and on layer 16, we would like to have a layer type assembly. Okay. Again, this is important. This is how our PCB will know that this uh, mechanical layer 15 and 16 is used for assembly drawing layers. Okay. We need to do something similar also in this uh, third library. So go here. And again, in this library, we only have one footprint, uh, which is uh, which has uh, the assembly drawing layer on mechanical layer 29. So go into view configuration, right click, add component layer pair. And this time, what we would like to set? We would like to set uh, the layer 29 and layer 30 as assembly drawing layers. Okay. Save this uh, live or save all. That's easiest way. Save all. Go into our schematic and import all the components again. So design, update, close. Zoom out. I'm going to place the components uh, back on the PCB. So resistor one, two. three and you probably see the difference four five on bottom layer six on bottom layer seven and eight Wow! In this uh, first example, nothing really happened because we didn't specify layer type. And if you don't specify a layer type, then uh, in the PCB, Altium will automatically use the mechanical layers which are specified in the library. Okay, mechanical layer 15 and mechanical layer 29. But have a look down here because we specified assembly drawing layers in these libraries and because we specified assembly drawing layer in our PCB here. Altium automatically uh, recognized these assembly drawing layers and put them together. So even if uh, in this library our assembly drawing layer is on mechanical layer 15. And even in this library, our assembly drawing layer is on uh, mechanical layer 29. And uh, our board is using mechanical layer 10 and mechanical layer 11. It's still not a problem because we set the layer type and Altium automatically knows all these, they are on assembly drawing layers. Yeah. Top assembly, top assembly, bottom assembly, bottom assembly. This is cool. And as I say, this can be sometimes very useful. If uh, you would like to play with this feature, uh, you can download the Altium project that I created for this video. You will find it here on this URL and simply left click here and download or uh, I will also attach this link under the YouTube video so you can download it and uh, feel free to experiment and, you know, try it by yourself. Of course, uh, this is not only about assembly drawing layers. You can uh, specify a different kind of uh, layer type. But I used uh, assembly drawing layer as an example because many people use it. Okay, that's everything for today's video. I really hope you found it useful. If you like this video, please don't forget press like button. 
also uh, leave uh, your comments I would like to know what do you think about uh, this feature if you think you may use it in the future also you know this is kind of feedback uh, from you uh, that uh, you know let me know if you would like to see these kind of videos about some specific features of Altium because I don't really do many of these kind of videos and I would like to know if you would be interested to see it and uh, yeah that's everything I uh, I would like to thank you very much for uh, watching this video and uh, see you next time bye